first, Sean Thomas has the story. One Welsh victim has been talking to our reporter Sean Thomas about the impact it's had on her. And Sean Thomas is there in Cardiff Bay for us this evening. Yes, Andrea, I'm above the mice here at Cardiff Bay and just behind me there is the Wales Millennium Centre, which of course is this year's pavilion, so slightly different to the usual tent. Yes, John, I'm just outside Cardiff Students' Union actually, and uh, as you can see it's, it's quite quiet at the moment, but give it a couple of hours and there'll be plenty of students here taking a sample of Cardiff's nightlife and what's on offer. But the message is to stay safe, of course, and South Wales Police have come together with volunteers and they make sure that students get home safely, and that's part of the street scheme. These glass bottles can be reused up to 30 times before being recycled. And it doesn't stop there. Even these milk floats are more environmentally friendly. They run on electricity to do the rounds. FWB arrangement. Friends with benefits. Yes. Wow. Which would be effectively rent free if you wanted to really save your money. I don't want to suggest anything that you necessarily run a mile, but I don't want to help you out. Yeah, yeah. Um, uh, um, I don't know if you have a sort of, sort of friendly benefits sort of arrangement would be suitable to you. How often do you want to, do you want to sleep with me? Like, how often? Or, um, like, just, just, you, you tell me, like, what, what, what are you looking for with this? Maybe you want to do This is upskirting. It's the act of taking a photograph under a person's clothing without their permission. The same thing happened to Sarah, who's from Wales. I felt quite sick in my stomach, to be honest, and a bit scared, I suppose, that somebody could just go and do that without even thinking about it. It made me feel quite scared as well. You just put it in there, put the lid on, and it will grind it down in, into more like a powder. Meet Sue, a campaigner, an ex-police officer and a cannabis user. Every day she's in constant pain because of her multiple sclerosis. She says the illegal drug is the best way to relieve her agony. The weather has clearly made its mark here in Wales and despite the travel disruptions, staff at this hospice here in Penarth have gone the extra mile to look after their patients. Um, I've been here for one night. Um, I might be staying tonight as well if they can't get staff for tomorrow. OK, so I need to change my daughter, but my girls so need a bum change. So I'm just going to go to the male toilets to see if I've got any baby changing. And they haven't. This is the story for many parents, like dad of two, Matthew from Caerphilly. You no, know, it should be equal, really. You know, it's, uh, I'm just as much a parent as, as my wife is, so I, I want to I be able to change my daughters uh, if they need changing, so it's just a bit unfair. Units like this one are hospital wards on wheels, bringing cancer treatment right to the patient's doorstep. This particular lorry is the world's biggest mobile chemotherapy unit, and it can treat up to 30 patients in one day. Depressed, desperate and alone, this is what happened to him one night a few years ago. I ended up jumping in front of a car to get the police to take me in to get help. And I ended up in a police station for two days. Just a couple of days ago, this river was frozen over, which really gives you a sense of just how cold it's been. But with temperatures getting warmer, it's been a chance for shoppers to come out once again. Yes, welcome to Llan Elwedd, or should I say Croeso i Llan Elwedd. It's been a fantastic day on the mice. There's been around 20,000 visitors, so one of the busiest days so far. And I think it's safe to say the atmosphere has been tr truly superb. All of the loose change that's in your pockets and purses is made right here in the factory just behind me. And one of the activities is taking place right here. And Matthew, I'm going to ask you, what, what are you doing then right now? I'm going to pioneer in, make some tripod. And wh where would you use that? Uh, we use these on camp when we, when we make fires to hold all the equipment to cook our food with. Ruth is back later on on the mice with all the latest weather forecasts, but for now it's back to you, Andrea. Sean Thomas in Cardiff Bay at the East Airport. Thank you very much indeed. Looking quite breezy there.